what is a social protest movement here when people do not find their needs are fulfilled when their development is disrupted they start some kind of a protest movement protest in the sense going against the thing which is not favorable to the people so when people start a protest movement against their will and their development which is which is against their development they will go for a raising a revolution by the people all the people will take part that what we call here a social protest movement so there are several social protest movements occurred around the world we are going to study those some of those in this chapter so here why did this social protest movement started right so for this we have to understand that two important changes occurred in the world that is industrialization and nation states what is industrialization it is the origin of many industries okay the development of uh, industries using the machines where the production is going on that is called industrialization so industrialization began in the world as first in england and we also discussed that due to the intensified nationalism in europe kingdoms were vanished in place of the empires and kingdoms nation states have emerged what is mean by nation states a nation is a country where we find a people of one race or a one community instead which is by one language where people are united by one language one race it is to be called a nation state we had seen that unification of germany where near about 360 kingdoms were there uh, earlier to the germany all those were united because of the nationalist feelings who are belonging to same culture same language that belonging to one culture one language they united and uh, turned to one nation that is uh, germany in italy too also so several kingdoms were vanished in place of the uh, nation states have emerged so these two things industrialization and nation states they have changed the lives of the people in very fundamental way in very basic way instead see the way the people work earlier to industrialization people worked manually when industries have come they started working in factories along with machines so the way the people worked and uh, their uh, access to the basic uh, things of the life uh, and their dignity all these were changed their relationship with the own work how they are related to their own work and whatever they produce their relation to the neighbors especially we find uh, the poor people who oh, poor people poor peasants trapped persons and industrial workers they suffered a lot they had lost their dignified life there was no security to the their life they were forced to work under unsympathetic foreman foreman in the sense you know leader 
to some of the workers in industries so certain uh, workers in factory worked under a foreman so foreman was very unsympathetic when industrial industries started there the foreman shown a kind of cruelty on the workers workers were not treated uh, like uh, uh, workers were not treated with a uh, humanism so humanism have come to end there there the foreman looked for only that production should uh, go on he did not think of the natural problems health problems of the workers managers who are the supervisors to the these workers they to worked very cruelly so the dignity of the life of the workers ended when workers were not uh, working properly or uh, if they tired of work and if they tired of uh, overwork they were thrown out of the employment so there was no security to the life of the workers so poor peasants craft persons and uh, industrial workers suffered very much with the industrialization right they worked under the unsympathetic poor man and they did not have any awareness workers did not have any awareness whatever they produce when and how they worked so here the wages of the workers also very low in industries and the work for the workers was not permanent so that created a lot of uh, unhappiness dissatisfaction among the workers how the workers feel happy when their work is permanent when there is security of the job right they were in a fear that uh, at any time they may be terminated from the work so that created a lot of unhappiness dissatisfaction in the minds of the people so in addition to that their wages were very low so it become very difficult for the workers and their for their situation become very worst when owners cut down the wages of the workers uh, when uh, owners have gone for reducing the workers also and workload also increased to them so this was a thing we see due to the industrialization so your industrialization first began in england and the early decades of industrialization the new political ideas which emerged in french revolution that also started spreading in entire europe simultaneously when industrial revolution was going on around the same time the ideas of french revolution what are those liberty equality and fraternity these were the ideals of the french revolution they too started spreading around the europe understand these uh, ideals of the french revolution inspired the people and made the people to fight for creating democratic institutions that in french they had established a, a republic so french parliamentary assemblies of the 1790s are based on uh, liberty equality and fraternity and these ideals of the french revolutions also reduced the difficulties of the people by controlling the prices of the bread bread is a very staple food item in europe french people during the french revolution they suffered to get a loaf of bread a piece of bread that was uh, very high in the price 
so due to the french revolution they succeeded controlling the prices of the bread that the women walked in the streets protesting the hike in the prices of the bread they demanded we want bread so this industrialization which started in europe also troubled the intellectuals and artisans artists human values also gone disappearing from the society here in agriculture where people worked collectively and there was a cooperation and there was a rest there was a dignity to the work of the workers and there was a humanity in agriculture field when one is suffering with a health problem that work was undertaken by another worker understand that work during the sickness agriculture workers were given time to recover so there was a humanity in agriculture when industrialization started these women values started disappearing there the foremen who were unsympathetic managers who were very cruel working under the guidance of the industrialist industrial capitalist they think for only earning the profit okay everything turned to commercial human values have gone they did not treat uh, the people with the humanism they felt that uh, uh, they did they did not they did, they did not feel that they are treating with the fellow human beings they wanted only the production on the large scale instead so this was a thing we see that uh, human values have gone and there they focused only on the reason science and technology rather than the feelings and emotions there was no value for emotions of the workers and there was no value to the feelings of the people instead they they given value for the water production they given value to the science and technology how the technology has to be used in increasing the water production so there is a large impact of the industrialization on poor people especially working people on the working people it has given a deep mark and some of the writers have gone for studying this kind of economy where industrialization was going on in uh, in which they given importance to only the production so where it will come to end how to get solution to the problems of the workers in industries right and how is the society in industrialization to understand all these things some have gone for what studying the industrial industrialized economy and the social history the challenges coming by the industrialization they wanted to study on other hand we see some of the writers have gone for writing the poetry to inspire the what a workers towards their betterment understand so in this way we see that uh, several problems are faced by the workers understand because of the industrialization understand here we see that industrialization also given birth for uh, new social groups a new social group started and this social group uh, playing very important role in the society what is that social group uh, it is industrialized persons uh, that is uh, what you call industrial capitalist this is what industrial capitalist and large land owners these were the what uh, people uh, started influencing in the society okay uh, everything was uh, under the control of uh, industrial capitalist what is by industrial capitalist uh, huh? those who have huge amount of uh, funds and uh, money are called capitals ca capitalist who use huge amount of money in starting a business right 
who expense who invest a large amount of money to start a kind of work or a business is called capitalist right so capitalist started establishing industries are called industrial capitalist and who are these industrial capitalist these are large land owners who are wealthy and wanted to earn much of the cap much of the uh, what to call profit they started uh, establishing the what industries and they dominated the society so they played an important role in what to call society against this uh, industrial capitalist and large land owners workers also started their movements that what we call working class movements we call them working class movements so workers have started their working class movements okay they whenever their problems become very severe then workers started uh, big, uh, uh, what to call turning to unite they organized uh, what to call unity workers realized their power when they united understand when all the workers they come together and formed unity they understood that without them without their participation there is no production if they do not work they can bring the economy to a standstill a standstill means stoppage that means production cannot be done without the participation of workers right workers are essential in the process of production so without them there is no production this is identified by workers when they are united and to get unity among the workers the ideals of the french revolution that is liberty equality and fraternity they inspired the what workers and the new ideology around the same time started that is socialism socialism is a new concept started there which is based on uh, equality understand in socialism we find that uh, everybody is equal and whatever is produced that will be used for the welfare of all the people equally that what we call socialism in detail we'll discuss in the next class what is socialism so the ideal uh, ideology that is a socialism and the ideals of the french revolution inspired uh, what to call the workers to get unity among them and fight against the uh, what to call ill treatment towards the workers understand women also who were confined to the homes who worked uh, what to call inside the home due to the industrialization they also came out they started working in industries so when they started working in industries due to the industrialization they identified their role in the society they identified they got awareness that they were not equal to the men in the society when they have equal capacity with the men so they demanded that there should be equal status for women along with men in the society so women demanded that there should be equal status to women in society understand that means they should receive due respect in the society like men and they also wanted to work outside the home like men that means they want to be a job holders they want to enter into the politics to become the representatives understand and they wanted to what to bring a new culture in the society where they could enjoy equal status with uh, men so in all these aspects in culture in politics in economy and in society they wanted equal status for that uh, they demanded due to the industrialization and they often joined uh, these women joined uh, with a uh, social movements like uh, socialism when socialism started in the europe in that moment workers women workers also joined when people fighting for the what nationalistic feelings 
and to establish a democratic nationalist democratic states there women also joined uh, in these movements so let us find out uh, how these movements worked uh, in the europe uh, bringing the changes in the society okay and how they built uh, the modern world uh, especially in uh, india understand so first we see that uh, early workers movements first started in england it was the first social protest movement started in uh, england okay there in england political protests started uh, by the workers against uh, cruel working conditions the working conditions were very cruel how it were cruel see workers were forced to work for long hours without break near about 16 hours workers were forced to work without a break and for that the wages they received very less if anything mistake happens by machine then that day wages were cut off to the workers and see if some workers are taking a little bit rest immediately they received a blow by the foreman foreman used to go on kicking right most of the workers in industries were women because women were very very less in resistance right men may revolt against the cruel working conditions so industrial owners preferred women only who are less resistance and also preferred children because children can work without any reward so children women and some of the men worked in industries understand so these were cruel working conditions against the cruel working conditions their working class started a movement in england understand that was a early workers movement and this uh, what to call working population they demanded especially the right to vote right to vote was not given to the workers here in england right to vote was enjoyed by the industrialist persons that uh, upper class people working population did not had right to vote so the working people demanded and started a political protest for right to vote understand whereas the government suppressed them why did they demand right to vote if they get right to vote they could elect a representative who can solve the problems of the workers right so they want they need a right to vote first understand so they demand a right to vote instead of consider, considering the demand of the workers and granting right to vote to the people the government have gone for suppressing them there the government made new laws against the working population that the new law stated that workers are not allowed to protest against the water factory owners so they made what a new laws that denied that what denied see the made new laws that denied the people the right to protest people were not allowed to express the problems what were there to them they were not given right to protest the problems what were faced by them in industries whenever they have gone for a protest to exhibit the problems what they were facing in industries that was treated by government against the government it was treated by government violation to law violation to law is a crime understand so such laws were passed by the government okay especially we see that here england was busy in war with france instead 
it was a uh, uh, what to call a war time between uh, france and uh, england from uh, what to call uh, 1792 to 1815 there was a continuous war between england and uh, France. Understand? Uh, they wanted to get supremacy on the trade. So, to get supremacy on the trade, France and England entered into the war. So, due to this war, their uh, trade was disrupted. England established its authority in several parts of the world. So, whether it has to focus on trade or on to the war with the France. So during the war time with France, the trade of the England was disrupted and at that time factories were closed because England want to get success in the war with France. So many factories were shut down. As the factories were shut down, what will happen? Their workers were thrown out of the A, employment. Understand? So unemployment increased there due to the closure of uh, factories many factories and industries were closed so workers of the industries and factories they thrown out of the employment they turned to unemployed so unemployment increased understand when unemployment increased they were not able to buy the basic food item that is bread meat which is needed to them right and here these are essential for the people bread and meat right those are the basic uh, needs of the life so these basic items bread and meat its uh, prices were high those uh, items prices were uh, very high uh, what do you call the workers were not able to buy the bread and meat with their uh, poor wages. Instead, against uh, workers, the government passed uh, one more act in 1795. Okay, what is that? In 1795, England Parliament passed uh, one more act that what we call Two Combination Act. What is that act? Two Combination Act passed by England Parliament in 1795. What is that act? It is the act says that if anybody provokes the people by speech or by writing against the government, then it is considered as a crime. If people are provoked, what do you mean by provoked? If people are motivated by the speech or by writing an article into the newspaper, when people are incited, motivated and provoked against the, what you call a king, what do you call? If people are provoked against the king and the constitution, and the government it is considered by government as a violation to the law the two combination act says that if anybody provokes the people against the king or constitution or the government it is considered as a crime okay according to the two combination act understand it also banned this two combination act also banned that unauthorized public meetings unauthorized public meetings were more than 50 persons if the public more than 50 persons they gather what will happen they'll think about their problems when they think about the problems, they will find out a way to find a solution to the problems. That means they, they may go for against the government. When people unite, then 
there will be a mass protest movement against the government. So the government passed two combination act. One is nobody is allowed to provoke the people by speech or by writing against the water king or constitution or the government. It is treated the contempt of the law. That is violation of the law. Understand? And the second thing is that it also passed an act to continue what you call old corruption. Their old corruption continued. The old corruption, the term, what you call the term old corruption means the special privileges given to the monarch and the parliament. Understand? Dear students, you have to understand here the old corruption. What is old corruption? It is a term used for the privileges given to monarch and the parliament. What are the privileges given to monarch? King was treated supreme in authority and he was not answerable to anyone. Right? He enjoys the power in a kingdom, the power given by the God according to divine right theory. And the parliament, parliament also enjoyed some privileges. Here, who were the members of the parliament? Landowners, manufacturers, and professionals. Okay. Landowners are nothing but industrial capitalists. Who are manufacturers? Those are the owners of the industries. Right? So, landowners, manufacturers, they were not interested giving right to or to the working population. So, the parliament members are the owners of many industries. So, do you think that uh, do they go against them in uh, making a law that uh, granting right to vote to the working population? No. So, the parliament members, that is the representatives of the people also, owners of the factories, owners of the industries, right? So, they stopped a law which is going to pass by parliament in favor of the working class people. And the representatives of the parliament were not belonging to the working population. Understand? All the representatives in the parliament were belonging to the manufacturers, landowners, professionals. So they enjoyed some special privileges that right to vote. Right to vote was given to the manufacturers, landowners and professionals. Working population did not enjoy such a right to vote. So this was continued uh, by the law, what you call a two combination act. So the two combination act allowed the parliament and the king to continue the old corruption. Understand? So old corruption continued by the according to the two combination act. Further, they supported the corn laws. Some corn laws were passed. What do you mean by corn law? There, the England Parliament passed a law that imports import of cheap cheap food item is banned in Britain. In Britain, the bread prices has to increase to certain levels so that manufacturers have to get a benefit. When the price of the bread is high, people were importing a corn. People were importing the bread and uh, what you call flour from uh, other uh, countries. Okay, people were purchasing from uh, other part of the nation. So when people purchase the cheap bread from other countries, then who will buy the bread which is uh, produced in Britain? So the Britain may get loss. So in order to get profit in uh, producing the bread, the, there the Britain parliament passed uh, a law that not allowing the import of cheap food item into the Britain. So like this a law was passed by the Britain parliament which is called Corn Laws. What we call that? Corn Law. Corn Law what you call bans. 
it bans uh, what to call allowing the uh, what to call uh, it, it it bans it bans uh, what to call uh, allowing the cheap food item from other countries understand it will it is banned until the price of the bread in britain to increase a certain level that means certain level means the level to get profit understand 